Well, first of all, thank you ever so much, both of you, for joining us today. We really appreciate it, so thank you. Thank you for having us. So let's kick off. What are the goals of the IEP Centre for Police Research? Well, the IACP has long been a supporter of evidence-based research, but we uh, were mostly involved in disseminating research that others did. And so now we're really excited to get involved in our own original research and manage research projects directly. Uh, more specifically, uh, the goals of the IACP Center for Police Research are to facilitate collaborative relationships between researchers and practitioners, uh, as well as evaluate the efficacy of ongoing IACP projects, and to lead by example as to the importance of evidence-based policing. Well, let's pick up on that point, the importance of evidence-based policing. Joe, why is evidence-based policing important? Well, I think it's important because the policing world is always changing. Uh, we're here at the conference and police officers and police chiefs are now dealing with different types of problems than their predecessors did 10, 20 years ago. So we have a lot of good research about what works, what doesn't around things like patrol strategies, but we have no idea about some areas like how to deal better with officer safety or officer wellness. Uh, there's a recruitment and a retention crisis going on and there really isn't enough knowledge kicking around. So evidence-based policing is important I think in two ways. Firstly for people in policing to better access the existing knowledge that we have about what works and what doesn't. But secondly to also learn what works for the problems that they're dealing with now to actually develop research to understand how best to use taxpayer money and how best to keep officers safe. Well, let's carry on with that a little bit. So what, what topics do you think evidence-based policing can really cover? Oh, I don't think there is a limit to it. I think we're, the more we're data-driven, the, the more we're knowledge-driven, uh, and the more we use research and evidence to better understand and tackle policing problems, we're going to be more effective. And I think certainly in the world that we're in, um, post-pandemic, post the murder of George Floyd, there is a lot more scrutiny on policing. And I think police chiefs and police leaders have to be much more answerable to the community. Instead of saying, well, we think this works, we're just going to do this, there's more need to demonstrate and actually show evidence that the strategies and the tactics and the way they're spending public money is being used effectively. Michael, what are some of the projects that the IACP is involved with? Well, for now, we're exploring some existing data sets from the Bureau of Justice Statistics. Uh, we're also putting together some plans to evaluate IACP's leadership training. Um, and we're exploring ways to measure public trust as well. Uh, but really, we're looking to get our members engaged right now, to hear from them as to what topics are most important to the field so that we can start addressing uh, what's important to police practitioners. So let's pick up on that for my last question, really, which is, you know, uh, agencies watching, you know, departments watching, they might be saying, well, that sounds really interesting, but how do they get involved? Reach out to us. Uh, you can visit the IACP Center for Police Research at the IACP.org slash research or email research at the IACP.org. Great. Well, thank you both very much indeed for joining us today. Really appreciate it and good luck. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.